Now, as I said, today's session we're looking, we're looking at year end. And this session will help you prepare for year end in terms of what sort of information do you have ready or what do you need to prepare or what do you need to do before the running the year end on your past from my business online. Now, the session is going to be quite brief as it is a brief overview or a high level overview as to the year end process. However, if you do need more detailed information, please go into the help menu and uh, the online help will give you all detailed information with everything that I will be covering with you this morning. So please feel free to help yourself. But if you do need any additional information, you can send through an email to sales at pastelmybusiness.co.za. Alternatively, you can uh, put through an email to support at pastelmybusiness and we'll just address it at that stage. Guys, now a couple of things before running the year end. It's uh, quite a simple process to run the year end on the Pastel My Business Online as compared to some of you may be aware of our other Pastel packages, your Pastel Express, Pastel Partner, Pastel Evolution, where the year end is run as a utility. However, on the My Business Online, we have simplified the process so that it's a simple change of date or financial period so that you are starting a new default year, which is your new financial year. Now, before we do that, there are a couple of things you need to cover to prepare for the before running the, the year end change. Firstly, you need to print some reports. There's some additional processing that you need to do things like your recon and so on. And I will just pre briefly take you through those with you. Firstly, you need to print some reports. These would be your financial statements reports. These include your trial balance. You need to print your trial balance. You can export the trial balance and send this through to your accountants. It may be necessary for your accountants at this year in period. And to view and print the trial balance, it's under the reports menu, under financial statements. You will see a list on the screen that will come up, a list of all your financial reports, which are all the reports that you need to have available before proceeding with the year end. As you can see, just waiting for the screen to update on your end. There's three financial statements reports while I wait for the screen to update. It is the trial balance that I have discussed briefly with you. There's the profit and loss report, traditionally known as the income statement report. Now, when running this report and printing it, PASS will ask you in which manner do you want to view your sales figure. Do you want to see it based on sales or do you want to see it based on purchases? I'm not going to go into detail with that. If you do require further information, I would highly recommend that you go to the help menu and read under calculation of cost of sales based on sales and purchases and see what the differences are just to make sure that you're happy with your income statement before proceeding with the year end. The last report under the financial statements is your statements of assets and liabilities, which would then be a uh, report detailing all your assets and also your liabilities and showing you the balances thereof. Now, once you've printed these financial statements reports, there are additional reports that you need to prepare as well. The first report would be your customer's days outstanding, traditionally known as your age analysis for your customers. And to view this report, you'd need to go onto the reports menu and go to your customers. And in your customers options, you've got your customer balances, days outstanding, and that is the report that you need to print. As I said, it is an age analysis, which therefore shows you details or a summary of your customers and the amounts that they owe you in periods. So in current, in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and so on, you will have the report that's available, it's there, so that you know as you're running this year end, what is the statement, state of affairs with your customer's control. So guys, print this report, very important. At least you'll have the information there. The other report that you need to print would be your supplier's age analysis. And this will help you be on top of your creditors or your suppliers, knowing exactly what sort of balances you have outstanding with them. And to view your supplier's days outstanding or your supplier's age analysis, it's also under the reports menu, under the supplier's options, and there's the report for supplier's balances, days outstanding. As I said, it is an age analysis, so it will show you for all your creditors, either in detail or in summary, 
what you currently owe your creditors or suppliers in current 30 days, 60 days, and so on. So the report is there, very important report that you need to run. The next report that you need to look at is your item valuation report. And to view the item valuation report, it's also under the reports menu, under items or inventory, and the very last report on the list is your item valuation. Now the item valuation briefly shows you the cost of all your items that you currently have in stock and the quantity on hand, which is, I think, the most, one of the most important aspects of your inventory. So that you know when you're doing your year end, you're starting a new year and these are the quantities of stock that you have on hand. And should there be any discrepancies, take into consideration shrinkage and so on, then you would need to process uh, stock adjustments to uh, bring your stock in line and then proceeding with the year in, year in processing. The last report that you need to also view and prepare before running year end is your tax report. Again, under the reports menu, under the tax options, you can print the tax report, which will show you all the transactions uh, for all the entries that have tax that is either payable or redeemable from your tax authorities. And also you can have a look at your tax payments and refunds. So you can see if you have paid your tax authorities up to date or not. You may need to pay them now before proceeding with the year end. So the tax reports are available. Run the reports and obviously make the right decision before proceeding with the year end. Great, guys. Now we've got all our reports. We've printed. We're happy with our reports. We move on to the next step. Things that you need to do before running the year end. First and foremost is doing your bank reconciliation. Now, the bank reconciliation is quite imperative because you need to run through this process just to make sure that the transactions and the balances on the Pastel My Business online bank account balances to that of the physical bank account with your bank institutions, be it your APSA, FNBs, and so on. And to do the reconciliation, it's under the banking menu and select the option to reconcile banks and credit cards. Now, if you have more than one bank account, you, you would then need to reconcile all the bank accounts that you have so that you're starting the new year with the bank that has been reconciled correctly. As you can see on my list of banks, I've got three bank accounts, my current account, my petty cash, and my savings account. So just go through this, reconcile the petty cash also, just to make sure that you're starting the new year with the petty cash balance that is actually physically available in the petty cash. And the other thing that I have touched on is also doing your stock adjustments. If your item valuation report does not correspond or balance out to the actual quantities of stock that you have on hand or on your shelves, then you need to do your stock adjustments. And to do your stock adjustments, you go to your item menu and select your item adjustments. Now, when doing your item adjustments, this will be based on your item valuation report. You need to go through each and every single item that you don't agree with and do the adjustments accordingly. So that when you start the new financial year, you've got the right quantities for the new year. And then lastly, guys, we go through the process of actually running the year end or changing the periods to effect your year end. Now, this is under your, your company menu. So if you click on the company, under your manage companies option, it will show you a list of the companies that you have. So you need to specify, you will need to run this for each company. As you can see, I've got four companies. And the company that I'm currently working in is the My Business Company. So I need to edit that company because I'm changing content or details of that company itself. So you select on the edit link on the left hand side. And it will bring you through to details of the, of the company itself in terms of the company's address information, the contact details and so on. But I want you to pay particular attention now to the tabs there halfway down the page. 
you've got additional details, which includes all your, your company information, your address information, and so on. Then you've got your financial years. Select that tab. And as you'll, be, as you'll see, PESA will here show you the periods that you have created for this company when you started using PESA for my business online. As you can see, I've got three years worth of history, and now I'm creating my fourth year worth of history. So I'm starting a new financial year, which will be starting from the 1st of March 2011, running all the way up until the 29th of Feb 2012. And to do this, you need to click on the plus sign on the very last uh, period to add the extra financial period. Exactly what I've done now. I clicked on the plus, plus sign link, and it's created a fourth period at the bottom. As I said, as you can see, it shows you details as to the year or the financial year that you're running for. And all that's left for me to do at this stage is tick that year as the current financial year default, making that year the default so that all person can then occur in these period ranges or date ranges. Having, that, having said that, you will still be able to process in the other previous financial years, but very important that you need to note is that everything processed out of the default period will not affect the current period. So if you do any changes in that, it will not automatically update your opening balances for the new financial period. And now once you've done all the changes, you're happy with the year end and you're happy with the financial period set up, the last option for you to do is to click on the save button. Once you save, the year end is done, PESA will do the rest on the back end. What you will notice is um, when you print your trial balance at this stage, your income statement accounts will all be zeroed out because you'll be starting a new financial year. And, and, and all your assets and liability accounts will have a balance being carried forward from the previous financial year. But in addition to that, you'll also see a retained income account. Now, that is a system-generated account, and Pastel takes care of that for you. That balance will be your profit from the previous year being carried over into your trial balance. And it's, guys, it's there, it's taken care of, Pastel does the rest. You just need to make sure that you're prepared, you've printed your reports, you've done the necessary before running the year end, and you've come to change your financial period, and then the year end is done, Pastel takes care of the rest. Now guys, as I said, this is a high level overview of the year end process, preparing and what you need to do before running the year end, and that summons up today's session. Thank you for joining us for this My Business Online webinar. If you found it useful, Please visit the PASTEL website to find out about future My Business Online webinars or training courses. Alternatively, contact us on sales at pastelmybusiness.co.za.